I'm, I'm going to say a little bit about the Learning Technology Show because mostly uh, the previous years we've been uh, John and myself for, or Chris to bet and then to Learning Technologies which used, they, they both usually happen to end of January, early February but everything's been stretched out because of the cancellations and uh, lockdown and so forth um, but we're, we're, no, we're not going anywhere really we're, we're staying in extra still um, we didn't go to bed and we, we haven't been to this one but I, there's a couple of things I notice ab about it um, a lot of people are, ju are just not there the, the, the MOOC people apart from you to me um, have, have gone away so FutureLearn, Coursera I don't know what that means I think they probably re believe they've reached everybody most people know about them but I, th I think it would be good to just turn up places like that and keep 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 the MOOC idea uh, going because that, you, then you get more feedback perhaps and, as to how, how it could change. But the, a couple of people are there. Um, that's Holt Ashridge, which I think is the only business school that's there. And that, that would have been interesting. I'll try and find out a bit more about them because they are on the various ways go, go, go moving online. And I'm, I'm not sure UK business schools are, but I'll, I'll try and find out more about that one. And also LinkedIn Learning is still there. And I'll, I'll try and check that out. Um, I, I haven't got involved in LinkedIn very much recently, but I will have, a, have another look because I, I guess they're a form of MOOC. They, they have a, a lot of skills on that LinkedIn Learning bit, and it sort of relates to the social networking as well so I will, I will try and try and find find out more about that the um, the two that I, I w would like to have seen and it's interesting that they're not there are Adobe and O'Reilly because O'Reilly invented web 2 more or less they, they existed a long time b before that they d did a lot of books in the last century um, but they came up with all the ideas around web 2 Maybe we're, we're having a, um, another crash in the web world, or it's not exactly a crash yet, uh, but there may, be a, there may be a cyber crash too that follows on from Web 2 and the original cyber crash around the turn of the century. You look at the Adobe share price, um, the scale of the, the boom since 2000 is such that it only appears to be a little, a little bump um, 2000 time it seemed much more than that at the, t at the time um, so I don't know I may be making this up but um, have, a, have a look at the, NAS the Nasdaq chart well, this is very strange stuff for, for Phonic, I know um, I think I'll stop ra raving on about this but I may, come, I may come back to it later on because um, this is the We Don't Know show, but we would like to know. So we'd like to know what it all means when people don't turn up to trade shows. Does it mean um, they believe everybody knows everything about them? Or does it mean this is a good time to just um, stay safe somewhere and not take many risks?